Today I am doing a very fun video that I have been looking forward to making for days. I was recently given the opportunity to become a brand ambassador for Real Hair Makeup and they just sent me a box of a few products to try out in the mail. This brand is all about empowering women and each product that you order even comes with a little self-affirmation card. All of their products have high quality ingredients and are cruelty free and paraben free as well. So today I'm doing a little mini haul to show you guys what I got in my box and I'm doing a try on to show you guys how each product performs and this is the look that I came up with. So if you're interested in seeing that, please just stay tuned. Also real quick, I wanna say thank you to Real Her for giving me this opportunity and sending me these products. The first product and the one that I was definitely the most excited for is their shadow palette number one. This is the be your own kind of beauty palette. This palette has nine neutral shades in it. There is a nice white too and a black and the rest are different shades of brown. The black is the only matte shade in this palette. Everything else has shimmer to it or a bit of a sheen like satin kind of finish. As much as I've really been enjoying doing colorful looks lately, neutral tones are still my absolute favorite and I think they always will be. So I was very excited to try out a new neutral palette. Palette. Each of their eyeshadow palettes retail for $28 and if you look on their website they give you a little description of each shade to really describe them well so before you buy something online you can read like the undertones and the exact color that they really are because sometimes pictures don't always show things too well so I feel like it's nice that they give you that bit of information. The next product is a highlighter. This one is in the shade Keep Going. They have two different highlighter shades and this one is the lighter of the two. This is a more yellow golden toned highlighter and this retail for $25. The next product is the moisturizing lipstick in the shade No Filter. This is a very nice deeper neutral tone. I always reach for neutral toned lipsticks. I prefer those over reds or any other color. I just love a good nude. This particular shade is a very nice mix of brown and pink. It's really just right in the middle. It's not too much of one or the other which I personally prefer for myself. These lipsticks retail for $18 and they have 12 different colors to choose from. The last product in this box is a lip gloss. This is in the shade I Am Awesome and this corresponds with that lipstick very well. These retail for $21 and they have 7 shades to choose from. The lip glosses are new for them though so I'm assuming they're going to wind up coming out with more colors to correspond with all the other lip products that they have. Let's move right along to the try on. I'm going to start off with the eyeshadow palette first and the first cut that I'm going to take is fabulous and I'm going to put that all over my lid. Like I said, most of the shades in this palette are shimmery or have a satin finish. The closest one to matte other than a black is the shade Strong, so I'm going to try that one in the crease. I think out of the rest of them, that one will probably work the best. I feel like this is blending out very nicely. It has a good amount of pigmentation that comes onto the brush and onto your eyelids, but it's not like that kind of... Vivious shadows that have almost too much pigmentation at once and then you can't really blend them out and when you try to they wind up being patchy. I feel like this is just a decent amount for like one little dip and it makes it very easy to blend out. Also, I don't know if you can really even tell but my eyebrows definitely need to be cleaned up a bit. But I was gonna do like an eyebrow grooming and fill in routine what I like to do with them so I was letting them get a little bit unruly for a bit. But that video should be coming soon, hopefully because I definitely need to fix these. That did just add more color to my crease rather than shimmer. Very happy about that because I know shimmer in the crease isn't exactly the best look but that one worked very well for that. I definitely want to use this color creative because while it's brown toned, I feel like it has a little bit of a reddish mauve tone to it and it's very pretty so I think I'm gonna go in with that more on the outer V or at least like the outer half of my eyelid. I'm thinking about whether I want to try using the black or not and deepen this up even more but for now I'm gonna go in with the color fine this is the lightest shade in the palette and I'm gonna put this more towards the center of my lid and blend it out over my entire lid I always love these really light pearlescent shades they're some of my favorites to use I always like to use them more on the center of the lid and like the inner corner or if I'm having like a very light makeup day I will use them on the entire lid and it just brightens up everything makes everything look really nice and like open, like you're less tired. I'm gonna try mixing the colors Smart and Strong together to use on the outer V just to make it a little bit lighter than pure black but I still want to deepen it up just a bit. I 
I want to blend between the outer V and the middle part of my lid a little bit more, so I'm going to go back in with Fabulous and just add that right in between. I just did the rest of my makeup off camera aside from highlighter and lip products so we can just move right on into those. They suggest using a fan brush for their highlighter so I'm going to use a fan brush on one cheek and then I'm going to use the brush that I always like to use for highlighter the most on the other. I like how it came out on both sides. I personally still prefer the highlighting brush that I usually use. This is from Sephora and it's a small contour brush. I just like the shape of it. I feel like I get a good amount of product on it and I have to go into the product less than I do with the fan brush since that's so thin. It's a more subtle highlighter that you can build up better, which I personally prefer over ones that have a ton of pigmentation immediately and that you have to blend out better. And I usually just don't use a ton of highlighter anyway. I just like something that looks more natural. Next, I'm going to go in with the No Filter Lipstick. I would normally line my lips first, but since I don't have a liner that matches this one exactly, I'm just going to use this to kind of try to line and fill in. I think this might actually be like my perfect lipstick shade. It's almost the same color of my lips, just a tiny bit darker and obviously adds more pigmentation to it. This is supposed to be a moisturizing lipstick and I can tell that it does feel very nice. It's not drying, it's not matte, so it's not like cracking and showing any lines. It almost feels more like a lip balm. The last product that I have is the lip gloss and this matches that lipstick perfectly. It's pretty much the same shade. This one is just called I Am Awesome. I think these will pair very nicely together, but this does look like it has a good amount of pigmentation on its own. So I'm sure that you could just wear this without anything underneath and it'll look very nice. That's a lot more pigmentation than I expected. I never wear lip gloss, so I feel like the way I applied it probably looked really stupid because I'm very clumsy with it and I'm not too sure what I'm doing. But for someone who really isn't too interested in lip gloss, I'm surprised I like this as much as I do. I still don't like going out with it because I feel like everything just sticks to it. It's just, I don't know, personal preference. I prefer things that don't feel like my hair is going to stick to it. But for like videos and pictures and stuff, I think this looks really gorgeous. It had a lot more pigmentation to it than I expected and I like that it did match the lipstick. Like I said, it was really a perfect pair. And I think these two together just look really nice. This is like the first lip gloss product I've tried and actually really enjoyed. It doesn't feel sticky either. That's another big reason as to why I don't typically like lip glosses. I feel like they can feel very goopy and sticky and just uh, not pleasant. But this kind of feels the same as the lipstick does it feels very creamy almost balm like i am pleasantly surprised i really hope you guys enjoy this video i had a lot of fun filming this this was my first time trying each of these products and i was really looking forward to that ever since i got the box in the mail and i'm very happy with each item i really want to try more eyeshadow palettes i think they have like I want to say like five. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing five of them. Really, I'd like to try more of each thing. I want to try more lipsticks for sure. I love how those feel. I love the pigmentation of them, and I just think they're very good quality. Please be sure to check out the link in the description so you can shop Real Her Cosmetics. It is an affiliate link, so if you use that, I do appreciate that a lot. And you can use the code JESS15 to get 15% off of your purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you soon.